Hey everyone, welcome back to Loving Me Some Offers. Uh, very thrilled to have you with me and I really appreciate you taking the time to, to watch my videos. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be going over some stuff I got in the mail today and um, expressing some appreciation to a few, a few people and also uh, sort of the, the antithesis of that uh, to, to one member of the YouTube community a little bit. Um, Although I do appreciate his content, I just didn't uh, appreciate the the character so much today. But I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, what you're looking at right now uh, is really uh, something I think is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's a heritage card. It's called the Queen's Heritage Card by, uh, by a guy named Andrew Teal, who's an artist out of, uh, out of the Bronx, New York. And uh, Andrew... Um, was one of the Project 2020 artists uh, the, and Project 70 artists, the, these things in the background. Uh, in fact, oh, I have one of his cards right here. So in any event, I, I know I reference uh, that stuff sometimes, and I just wanted to sort of give you guys some context on, on the creativity behind it. This card is, I, I love, this is Nas, who is a hip hop artist, one of the greatest ever in my estimation, um, in, in, a, in a schoolyard or play yard uh, of some sort in, Queens with all of the um, formative rappers behind him, also from Queens, like Run DMC and L Cool J and a whole bunch of really, really cool guys. And this was, uh, you know, just something I wanted to share. So anyway, thanks so much. Um, today, uh, before I get into uh, the mail, uh, which I'm pretty excited about, this is a big mail day for me. I don't usually have mail days like this, but um, I did just want to give a, a few thank yous out there. First one to uh, a friend of mine who, uh, who has the Instagram handle jpc.collection, uh, a buddy of mine from college who uh, is pretty established in the business who went out of his way to uh, follow me and, and you know promote me on Instagram. So thanks, man, if you're watching this. Uh, also wanted to thank my buddy Assad, uh, who uh, I met through Facebook and has just been uh, tremendous he's a great resource a great reference really knowledgeable guy and uh as generous with his time and, and efforts uh as anyone i know also to the uh people at hga um i know we had a rocky start um but i'm very happy with the product you sent over um in particular i love this thing and i'm so glad that i was among the first to have one um really meant a, a great deal to me and so to tyler cole hit their ceo and Teresa franklin uh, the, the professional with whom I've been working, thank you so much. Um, also want to thank Matt Schwartz at FCG, who has um, really been responsive and helpful in uh, a lot of questions, really knowledgeable guy. FCG is a grading company that I sent some CSG cards for regrading to, um, and I'll be doing a video on that shortly. Um, also I have a buddy Jerry at CSG, same thing, really been just a, t a terrific, uh, resource for me and uh, James at DGA. Thank you. Uh, now, those are my thank yous, but I got to give a spank you. You know, I got to I got to say I was I was pretty bummed to get a response from someone on YouTube. Uh, a big, big YouTube sort of following, I guess about 80,000 followers. Um, it's called retro hoop collectibles really, you know, I think his content is great. I think he brings a lot of value. I watch his, you know, I watch his stuff um, on YouTube, on my TV a lot, and uh, I have enjoyed listening to him. Um, but yesterday, he posted uh, a video saying that, you know, he was the first on YouTube to review these, um, this square slab, this horizontal slab from HGA. And, you know, I'm, you know, I, I think it's great that he was able to get one too. Um, and I just wanted you know, to let him know that he may not want to let his fans know that he was the first one to do it because I had posted a video of it 24 hours prior um, reviewing the video. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but, you know, he, he, you know, I went on on Facebook and I, and I told him and his response was pretty gnarly. You know, he um, essentially trivialized me and my comments um, because I have 22 followers and uh, I thought that that was really elitist and bullyish and you know I, I just was sort of taken aback you know the guy started with 22 followers I'm sure as well um, and you know this guy doesn't 
do much aside from talk about cards. So, you know, I'm, I'm another member of the community looking to talk about cards, and I wanted to let him know that he had claimed something, um, and it wasn't true. Um, the manner in which he claimed it was really strange, too, because he, you know, he was... He always plays this role of, of humble guy and, and, you know, every man's man type of thing. But then he's like, you know, now I'm a YouTube star and I have so many followers and, you know, now I have clout. So I have uh, Tyler's, that's HGA CEO's cell phone number and I called him and he invited me in and all this stuff and whatever. And like, you know, he was like bragging about this clout and whatnot and... It was just it was just sort of off putting because you know his his persona sort of changed you know he used to be someone who, um, you know, was just there for for the community and now it seems as though that's that that objective that priority has has shifted so thank you to the people I remember uh, I mentioned earlier and uh, spank you to you uh, retro hoop collectibles pretty pretty bummed um, and yeah I had it first I had it first I reviewed it first. And I'm not even saying I'm the first one on YouTube to have done it, but I didn't get up there and brag about it, and I certainly would have checked if I had. Uh, so, thank you very much. Now, mail. So, yeah, so this is a big mail day for me. One of the things that I got in the mail today, I'll be doing a video, was the regrades on my HGA, on uh, my FCG uh, sub from CSG. And those are the, those are the ones. And I'm going to... Uh, open that in a little bit later in another video but i did want to show that to you so pretty excited to see what i got today one of these is a pretty big card i know um so i'm gonna get to that toward the end but this was something that was a little strange this guy is uh sent i sold i bought a card today uh, a few days ago and you know, he should have shipped it, but he felt bad about it, and I let him know that I got it. Um, I have a feeling his wife sent out, like, about 15 packages of cards via a plain white envelope, and, you know, it's just a, a bad idea. Um, I would imagine that half of those people are going to claim they never got it, file a claim on PayPal or Venmo, and... This guy will be out the money and out the cards, which is not cool. So um, this I haven't looked at yet. I'm probably not going to inspect too much now, but I will take a quick look at the corners at the very least. Um, yeah, I mean, they look okay to the naked eye. I'm going to have to look at them under a loop, but um, always wanted this card, never had this card, and now I do. So very happy. This is the 2018 Topps Chrome Ronald Acuna, number 193 of him swinging. There's one of him on the bases also without a helmet, sort of shrugging his shoulders, which is a cool card too, but this was the one I wanted. So very glad to have gotten that and uh, glad to add this to my collection. Um, next is, I don't know what this is. I don't really know what a lot of this stuff is. Ah, so this is some of the soccer stuff that I purchased. I have a feeling that soccer is going to be pretty big this year um, in terms of uh, collectible and value. Um, so I've bought a few of, of these cards. Uh, this one, you know, I'm just getting big names. And I don't know if the, the Leaf Pro set is a big deal, but these cards are, are textured and cool, um, pretty thick, and they're all in really good shape. So I got a Ronaldo uh, green out of 15. Number four out of 15, uh, a Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, uh, number five out of 20, also a cool card. And this is like, a, I don't know what, what you would call that, a shimmer prism type of thing. You know, every, every card company has their own sort of proprietary name for things. And then this, this is the goat, you know, this guy's the best. Um, and this is Pele, and this card is numbered 11 out of 20. Oh, I wish it was number 10. That would have been his number. But cool stuff. Cool stuff. Very happy uh, so far with, with what came in. Um, next up is... I don't know what this one is either. Some of these are YouTube. Uh, I mean, uh, eBay. Some of these are Facebook purchases. Those are really the only two sources I have right now for... For cards, you be careful when you do this. Try to do it on the cardboard so you don't cut the card. Ah, okay. So this is one of those cool cards. This I 
was talking about in my my Bowman's Best and uh, Break card. This is Wander Franco 2021 Bowman's Best. It's a prospect card, um, but there are a lot of people claiming or arguing that it is his first rookie card. And the reason for that is a story from Beckett, which claims that cards that are issued in sequential numbered order uh, in, in the set, which I don't know if you can see that. This is just card number 50. Um, and are not inserts or, or numbered as such are um, considered rookie cards. I mean, I think there are a few other qualifiers. But one of the other qualifiers is that it has both Major League Baseball and the Major League Baseball Players Association logo, which I'm sure this one does. It does um, as endorsements. And this one, as you can see, does not. So I don't think it's a rookie, but I think it is a great card to have. And um, I may have paid a few extra dollars for it at the time, but I'm glad I have it. Um, next up. Oh, okay. This is cool. This is one I bought from a woman who was at a card show uh, who's in a Facebook group of mine. And she was having a tough time selling that day because there was bad weather where she was at. Um, where she was selling, rather. So, I, uh, she reached out to everyone in the group and uh, asked if anyone would be inclined to make a purchase. So, I did. I bought a, uh, I think it's a Beau Bichette rookie. Um, but I think it was one of a pretty low top count or print run. Not, you know, not like a top space or chrome or anything like that. It was, yep, this is the, uh, Top Steve Aoki X, Bowman's Best, uh, I'm sorry, Bo Bichette, <laughs> Bowman's Best. Uh, PSA 10, um, actually in the midst of trade discussions with someone who's looking for Bo Bichettes, I'm really glad this came today because, um, you know, they look for the novelty of low PR and low pop count cards, and this certainly has both of those. So this will probably be out of my possession pretty, pretty quickly uh, if I can maximize my return on my investment. That would be great. Um, okay, this next one is... Oh, okay, so this is cool. This is a card... Oops, I don't want to show everyone his information. This is a card that I won in a fantasy league. We, uh, a bunch of fantasy Facebook guys got together and did a fantasy league, fantasy football league, um, where the entrance was an artist proof of this, like this set back here of... Uh, the, the background set there, an artist proof, which essentially means it's numbered uh, to 51, and um, it's numbered to 51, and let me open this off of the screen, and um, it has a silver frame around it, and it's exceedingly expensive to purchase it at retail, and uh, I don't collect them, but I had one, and I figured it was a fantasy league for cards that I could sell for money, and that was the plan. So I went out and I found a cheap one. Um, this card's so nice, though. So I went out and found a cheap one, um, less than a hundred bucks. These things sold from tops at considerably more than that. So um, I used that to get in, and uh, I won the league. So it doesn't really matter if uh, what I paid because I'm gonna sell it as quickly as I can. That's for sure. And the last card of today's mail day is a big one. It's, well, it's a big one for me. It's one that I've wanted and one that in a good condition I can't really uh, justify spending. So um, what I ended up doing was finding a uh, one that was graded an SGC um, an SGC Oh, sorry. The cards I showed earlier today for the regrades, those are not regrades. Those are SGC cards for my PC. Sorry. Um, but I will do the regrade. I'm getting those, I think, on Tuesday. Anyway, um, I bought this card because I could afford it. Um, it wasn't prohibitively expensive, and um, it was a card that I wanted, and I thought that the condition seemed a little bit harsh because of what I saw. Now, the card is the 2011 Topps Finest Mike Trout Rookie. Um, it's graded CSG 7.5, and that's a low grade. And CSG, from what I understand, is generally kind of cool with surface issues. Um, so 
by looking at the card in the online, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the case is a little scratched up. And I figured that might mean that some of the issues on the surface were on the case, not the surface. And I am putting together a group of subs to go to CSG, I mean to PSA. So I figured if I could take this out and take a look at it and, uh, you know, maybe clean it up, uh, buff, you know, with uh, some, you know, just maybe a little bit of water or something and uh, a microfiber cloth, uh, you know, I could get maybe an eight out of it. Um, you know, I have to look at this closely, but I'm, I'm looking at it. You know, there's a little bit of maybe, oh, there's some edge stuff on the bottom. You know, I don't see this so bad. So I think that uh, this could be a big win for me. And at the very least, it's a card that I have always wanted and uh, will be part of my, my personal collection for a long, long time. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you again so much for, for joining me, uh, guys, girls, and assorted others. Um, I will be doing another video coming up soon with five cards that I submitted to SGC less than a month ago, and they're back in my possession already. Um, I chose SGC for um, aesthetic reasons for my personal collection, and you'll see when I do the video that I wanted the cards to sort of... Uh, look good in a tux. Anyway, thank you again. Please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, uh, thanks again to all the people who made me feel, you know, good and appreciated this week. And to those who didn't, um, you know, <laughs> we'll see where I am. 22 followers now, but we'll see where I am in a year. Talk to you soon.